What's up guys, my name is Technobi here for Troubleshoots and today I've got an interesting video for you if you're trying to open XPS files on Windows 10 after a fresh install. So when I was on my old PC, I used to save licenses and other things like that. Web pages using Chrome, I'd print the page using the Microsoft XPS writer and save it as a .xps file or something similar. Now, when I needed to access a key for a piece of software I bought, I double clicked on the XPS file that I saved, which is basically the equivalent of a PDF as far as I know. However, it wasn't able to open with any apps on my PC. Now, usually you'd use the Microsoft XPS viewer or something along those lines. And I had absolutely no idea how to get that back. Well, it turns out that it's not on by default in Windows. All you need to do is hit start, go to the settings wheel, click on apps, then where it says apps and features, click on optional features right below it. Then click on add a feature and you'll have to scroll for some time until you get to the very bottom, which should be the XPS viewer. Click on it, scroll down again and click install. Then you can go ahead and hit back in the top left and you'll see that it's now downloading. So let's wait for this to complete. Once it finishes, you can go ahead and close out the settings window. And the next time you double click on an XPS file, it should open up as usual. So I just printed out the Wikipedia homepage just to give an example of what it's like. So that's basically it. You won't see a file icon on the file up until you next restart your PC or Windows Explorer. By right clicking on Windows Explorer, clicking a restart in Task Manager, you can now see that there's the file icon that we were missing. So anyways, that's it. I hope this helps you guys. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.